R and C, you are going to one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five. That's how the loops are designed. R is fixed. When R is one, it's fixed. And then R is becomes two, so it's going to go two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, and two, five and so forth. So understand by setting the loops the way we have, it very nicely takes us to each value running across a row, and that's what I'm stressing. The loops are designed to go across a particular row. Let's look at the next example and let's see what we expected to do there. I now want to find I need a button and I want to find the average of each test. I want the average of each test. Find and output the average obtained for each test and stored. Remember, we had a 1D array called ARRL. Okay, so let's go back. Now they are asking us, this is our test. So I need to now come down the rows. I'm no longer going across because I'm finding the average of the test. Now the question is, if I'm coming down a row, okay, okay, let's quickly just put this in again. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four. And then this is going to be two, one, two, 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 three, two, four. Four one, four two, four three, and four, and that's going to be four four. Uh, I'm not sure why this happens to my. Why does this happen to my pointer? And this is four four, and eventually it's going to be five one, five two, five three, and five four. So now I want. I want to come down. So I want my loops to be going one, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one. So that needs to change as opposed to going one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. That's the way we had it. The question is, how do I get my loops to now behave in this way? One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. So when we went across, the rows were fixed and the columns changed. Now the columns are fixed and the rows are changing. And without dwelling on this too much, there's a simple rule that we apply. So when we go across, we had RC loops, first the R loop, then the C loop. To come down, we swap the loops around. So we're now going to have for C assign the value one to four, because that's how the C loop worked. Again, and then the R loop is from one to five. Begin. Okay, and th and that's pretty much it. Um, sum equals sum plus ARR marks. This still remains RC. Don't go and change that to because I swapped the loops. Don't go and change that. This still remains R and C. And here, set your sum to zero. So each time it moves to a new column, it's zero. I hit the end. OK. Remember that the inner loop, this is now the inner loop. So this is going to go five times. That's going to go five times. C is going to be fixed at one. Right. So just to show you, I've got R and C, so C is going to be one. And R is going to change one, two, three, four, five. So if we look at this, R, it's one, one. Then it becomes two, one. Remember C is fixed at one, and it's going to be three, one. 
four one five one. So you'll see one one two one three one four one. It's coming down a column as opposed to previously where it was going across. And then when this R loop finishes, let's work out the average. Uh, a R R F. And that needs to go into your C because there's four cells in that in that array. So ARRC equals sum divided by uh, the sum divided by um, four, is it? How many did? No, five. Because I summed up five students. So you'll divide that by five and end. Remember, the question does not want you to output it. All it wanted you to do is to take it and store it into your array of. 